it's amazing. I've I bought two chew bones for them, the exact same bone, and it always fails or it never fails. The two of them fight over the same bone, and that's what was going on right here. So they went upstairs. Hopefully. They will find the other bone. Things will quiet down. If not, they'll be upstairs, and I'll let them yell at each other upstairs. So you may hear them in the background. So anyway, Swedish death cleaning is where we left off. Um, I've been taking time on and off the last three years is getting rid of the clutter. This house, quite frankly, became a warehouse for Michael's uh, craft store. Um, I've been purging a lot of that. Because uh, my wife is never going to use probably 98% of what was there. And I had some help getting rid of it and made a, made a few dollars off of it. So life is good there. Um, I've reduced clothing. I've got her down from literally two closets to one closet. And all her clothing's downstairs right now. And I've gotten rid of a f number of things. I've gotten rid of some books and and magazines and other fun things like that. I'm looking to unload a stamp collection that I've had since I was about eight years old. Um, so if you're interested in my stamp collection, reach out. Uh, legitimate offers only. Don't try to con me because I'm smarter than that. Um, and I've got additional purging to go. I cleaned out an area. There was a table in my living room next to my printer. It's the printer that the whole house uses. So my daughter uses it, and it's been in the living room. There was a table next to it, a camping, folding camping table that ended up being literally a junk drawer. So I have I cleaned that. I got rid of about 90% of what was on that table, either shredded it or threw it away. Uh, I folded the table up. It's in the garage, vacuumed the area, and it's amazing how much room opened up, and I'm looking to continue that in other parts of the house. I got rid of an old TV console that had my 42-inch uh, big screen on top of it. I bought a smaller table, opened up a ton of room, and that's what I'm kind of looking for. I've got two rooms downstairs that had all of our crafting stuff. I've got one now cleaned out that's the man cave, and I may show it to you sometime. Um, I'm actually hanging pictures in it now. Uh, and then there's another room that we refer to as the playroom. There's a lot of my wife's stuff is in there. Uh, there's a pile I'm putting together for a garage sale. And like I said, stuff's going. Uh, what Swedish death cleaning is, it's a concept. Sorry, they're barking at each other. It's a concept of you don't want to leave stuff in your house to your children to take care of. I've talked to all three of our children, and there's nothing here that they want. And I've... I've asked them multiple times, so there's there'll be things that'll be going. There probably will be some things that'll get passed on, um, but there's not going to be a lot. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of all this, and this will be fun um, to do that. Other things I'm working on, I'm starting my prep for my Flagstaff trip in May. Uh, this is the geocaching event in Flagstaff. Um, another thing is, too, I've got some national park visits as part of this. So what I bought right after I left was, since I'm old enough, I bought a Senior Lifetime America the Beautiful National Park Pass. And it was $90, so that's not too bad. So if you're 62 or older, you might want to consider it. It'll get you into every national park and federal recreation land in the United States. Uh, yeah, so it's a good deal. It's in my car right now. Uh, I'm probably going to be hitting Grand Canyon. I'm trying to get a filming permit because being a vlogger, I can't take footage in a national park and just use it. I have to have a permit for it. So I'm trying to get a permit for Grand Canyon. Uh, I may get into Zion, but that's now a timed entry. And I don't know what time I'm getting into Zion that first, day, or not, not Zion, um, Arches, correction, Arches National Park. That's a timed entry. I don't know when I'm going to get to Arches and, and the, the town there, so it'll be hit and miss for that one. And then on the trip back, I'm going to try to get to the Petrified National Forest in Arizona, Arizona, New Mexico. And I'm not going to do a permit on that one, so I won't have any footage. 
Um, so that that's my fun. Other things I'm going to do is I need to refocus on my low carb diet. I've kind of, I have slipped really bad from it. And the weight's kind of reflected that. Uh, not a lot of pounds have come back on, but enough to, to say, okay, we're going to, we're just going to refocus on that. Um, one of the nice things about retirement is I did go out to breakfast this morning. It wasn't low carb. I'll admit that, but it was, a, it was something I ate that'll hold me till dinner tonight. So it's, that's the really nice thing about being retired is I can go to a breakfast restaurant on a weekday and not feel guilty about not, or not being around for the office. So I got that. The other thing I've refocused on is reading. I'm currently reading a book that I will bring to you in a future vlog. Uh, I'm going to be glad to f be finished with it. I'll be honest with you. I don't like starting to read a book and then drop it. Um, you know, it's like when I watch a movie, I don't like starting to watch a movie and drop it. Um, so we've got that going on. Other thing I'm working on, puzzles of various types. I do crossword puzzles. Um, and online, I'm doing the New York Times Wordle. And then there's another one called Connections, which is they give you 16 words. And you got to group them into four uh, groups based on the word. And there's usually a theme for each group. And you got to figure out the theme or what sounds logical. And you get like five attempts to solve all that. And I do pretty good most days. And the other thing I, I need to do is, and I've been told this not just by my, my mental health professional, but by my wife uh, in different ways. I need to get out of the house more. That's kind of where I'm guilty at right, of right now. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It's, um, I need to get out of the house more. I probably need to try to socialize more. Uh, so I'm going to figure out what to do there. Ideally, I'm trying to go to a geocaching event tomorrow morning. But the weather, their meteorologists in town are hedging their bets. I'm hearing reports. I actually heard one meteorologist say, we're looking at between two and 18 inches of snow on Saturday. Okay. That is hedging your bet big time. So we're, we've got that going on. So I don't know if I'm going to get out tomorrow for that. Um, and the other thing I've done, the uh, and part of my severance package, I had out placement services. And so what I'm doing, rather than trying to use the placement out placement services to find another job, I'm using some of the other benefits that are there. And I've signed up for a year subscription to Masterclass. And so these are classes that are taught, taught by celebrities to do various things. Uh, we may, I, may, I may do a video on that in the future. I just got the link to finish the sign up this morning, so I haven't been on it yet. And we're going to see how much fun I can have with that. So what have you guys been up to? Um, that's it for me for today. So please remember, and I appreciate this, please like, share, and subscribe these videos for the new and improved The Next Chapter vlog. God, I gotta go back to read what the title is because it hasn't burned in my brain yet. Uh, the Next Chapter vlog, uh, keep, keep on smiling, and we will see you next time. Okay, we're gonna record a little bit of some of my Swedish death cleaning. Not a lot. Uh, what I, where I'm going right now is back here in this corner of my house, in the basement. Not the, not the piano, not yet anyway. Is what I've started, not a lot. But the goal right now is to get upstairs and look at the area I want to tackle next. Sure, I don't have dogs tripping me. Right? Huh? Am I right? So there's Wesley. He's doing a lot better. There's Maximus who's trying to figure out what the hell's going on, Dad. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here. This was the area I cleaned out last week, and there was like a table here and a ton of stuff on it. Most of that's been consolidated into this case mainly paper, where my printer is, but next thing to tackle is this bookcase. Let me step back. Easy, guys. Step back. This is one of two bookcases. 
The other one is in the corner. Let me get the light. Of course, now these guys want to play. I've got this little bookcase here, which is going to go out and leave. I've got this other bookcase, which has a ton of dust on it. I'm going to purge that down a bit, namely the books. Uh, I'll look at the other bric-a-brac that's on here and get rid of that. Uh, I've got two boxes of books. I've got two photo albums, but they're my wedding pictures, so that stays. I'll probably scan those and get them into a, my Amazon photo site. And the other piece I want to tackle is here in this corner, these piles of magazines that are here, which have been sitting here forever. My goal is to get them out. Okay, here we are about three hours later. Moved probably about, I'm going to estimate 400 pounds of books out of this cabinet. It is cleaned out. Everything is downstairs. Every, what's left up here now are on the top shelf, I've got pictures of that I need to sort through, scan, and upload to Amazon Photo. And a series of drafting utensils that belong to my late father in law in the middle. And on the right, there's paperwork for the two dogs. So that's all I've got left in this bookcase. We'll work on the other one tomorrow. Thank you. We're in Costco, let's do some shopping. Okay, it's not a big list. So I won't be here that long. It's somebody playing with the wind chimes. Okay, a quick dinner here. It's been pretty good, I've had this before. Had to get around a mother with her free-range children that took a moment. But now... It is time for... Eggs. It's two dozen. Alright, going through the Costco buffet. Spring rolls. Pretty good. But they're not really low carb. Now what I'm going for next is get a couple of packages of these. Bacon. There's four packs, so two four packs. That should last me a while. Okay, and the last thing I need, because we got a lot of old ones at home, are band-aids. My daughter and I have gone through a lot of these lately because we're careless. And that was it. That's my shopping list. Please begin scanning. There we go. Fourteen ninety nine. I've got it. Thank you. There's the barcode. There it is. Seventeen ninety nine. Credit four. Four sixty nine. Fourteen forty nine. Please continue scanning. Working on it, sweetie. Fourteen forty nine. And that's it. Time to follow pay. the instructions on the pin pad. 
Now you can't leave Costco without buying the best dollar fifty meal ever. Okay, there we go. Here's my lunch. Pepsi diet. I got some onion to go with this, and there's the dog. Okay, got out of Costco, about $65, which isn't too bad for what I bought. Um, bit noisy, a lot of kids in there right now. I, I think they're from the local high school, getting their $1.50 lunch like I did. Um, what else do I want to say? Oh yeah, um, $65 wasn't bad. Not like the days when my wife and I were running a Boy Scout troop and we would come in and spend several hundred dollars just to uh, to uh, fund a monthly camp out for a weekend with the boys. So yeah, it's I'm not spending as much as I used to, but I keep the membership anyway. Uh, occasionally I'll buy something large or buy enough during the year that I get a good uh, a good rebate from the card that I have Visa card I have tied to it. In fact, I just got almost seven hundred dollars for all my purchases from last year, so I'm doing pretty good. All right, uh, we'll continue on, and we'll see you later. Good morning, and welcome to the next chapter vlog. This is Art, and in this video, we're going to do a compilation of a variety of things I've worked on this week. Uh, specifics, we'll talk later, because I'm not sure what of everything I filmed this week I'm going to include or not include. But this morning, I went grocery shopping. Uh, went early uh, number one weather might be changing number two somebody got me up at 4 15 this morning wesley and so i just started my day at that point uh walks feeds did my breakfast normally i go out on friday for breakfast but i was hungry and i was up and it was early so i just made breakfast at home and saved myself 22 dollars by going out so we got that going uh, grocery shopping, I'm going to unbag what I just bought. We'll go through it and talk about the whys. Okay, everything here is unbagged. Here it is, yeah. We'll start over on this side. Velveeta, uh, mainly for my daughter. I'll snitch some when I cook it. Swiss cheese for me. Strawberries for her. Blueberries for me. Cucumbers to mix in with meals during the week. Uh, I have a leftover cucumber and some leftover tomatoes. I'm going to talk about what I'm going to do with those in a minute. Uh, some blend, dairy blend low-carb yogurt. I want to try this sweetener. It's a zero-carb zero sweetener um, called Swerve. I've got some whole milk mozzarella, pizza sauce, Italian sausage, and onion, and along with... This, I'm going to make myself a pizza for dinner tonight. Um, for meals next week, I'm going to do this tri-tip. They've always come out good for snacking. I get myself some salami, avocados with breakfast. I needed some more mustard and cream cheese. And these batteries, which fit into my handheld uh, extension that I'm using with this camera. Uh, since there's controls on it and there's a... Uh, Bluetooth connection between the camera and the handle. So all that was about, all this was $93. Um, so I'm going to go put this away and we will catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, finished the dog's afternoon walk. It's going to be brutal out there in a little while. Uh, saying two to six inches of snow overnight or more. It's paying upon where you live. Uh, one other thing I want to talk about today before I wrap up today's recording is a couple days ago in the mail I got my ballot for the primary for president of the United States. Uh, I'm an independent so I get both ballots and I get to vote one of them and return it. But I'm debating whether to even do that. It's I know I'm going to be left with Two choices, neither one of them I like. And America, we got to do better than nominating two old senile white guys to be president. Uh, this is this is terrible. Uh, what do you think? What should we do?
what as a country can we do? Because we seem to be as citizens powerless in trying to elect competent leadership in Washington. Your thoughts? <laughs>
Yes, perfect. And then for your side? Uh, I yeah, have something. It's not fries. Let's yeah. do the garden side salad. And then for your dressing on that? Blue cheese. Blue cheese. Thank you. Okay, lunch has arrived. Let's check it out. Here is my salad, blue cheese dressing, and my country chicken sandwich. Yeah, fried bread. I know, bad, but we'll make it work. When you all start running, all all right, going we're going way. as a group to find this particular cache on my phone. I'm so I'm going to find 50 people. Nope, sorry. So, somebody solved the puzzle. So we are now on our way to go find it. <laughs> we already solved the puzzle. I was like, I know where it is! They're like, what are the cards? I'm like, figure it out! <laughs> I'm just following along. <laughs> Me too. I, I haven't even found the uh, actual fish yet. I want to find something I haven't solved. I'm okay with that too. Yeah, it's like I'm okay with the fact that I didn't solve the puzzle. We'll just go and get it. Is this one a puzzle? <laughs> yes. Oh, okay. And somebody went and solved it. All right, we're walking too far. <laughs> there is the group coming so by. So I can do this puzzle. A couple of more At least it's not a pine tree. Or is it that pine tree? <laughs> Going to be right, right. climb over the snow in the pine tree. Yay! Someone, someone was, uh... Tab, if you could just sign for all of us, that'd be great. Can I log the first DNF one? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if I can spot it from this side. All right, they're going to climb in there. Well, it's all right. Found it. Yay. Good. Now I'm just going to log it on the website and be done with it. Okay, my raffle wins this geocoin commemorating the Mars rover lander. And then a geocache that looks like a golf ball. So we'll figure out where we're gonna put that. All right, time to go home. Dogs are waiting for me. Okay, we're gonna close out this video. A big day for Wesley today. He has graduated from out of the crate. And so we're gonna wipe out the crate, fold it up and put it away. He will be happy. He's hopefully now Giardia free. We don't know yet, but I feel safe enough to let him out of the crate and he spent the last few nights in the bedroom with me. So guys, we're going to close this out. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to these videos. Helps me out tremendously and I look forward to seeing you all next time.